folks. Pastor Nate here once again. So today, I want to talk to that one that's feeling far away from God. Or perhaps you're just feeling like you've really let him down and that you have sinned in an area. You've truly messed up and you know it. And so because of that, you're feeling as if um, God is far from you. And I just want to encourage you today to know that he's right there. Scripture teaches us that he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock that whosoever opens up the door, I will come in. So he's right there. He's just waiting on you to open that door. Open the door to his grace. Open the door to his mercy. Open the door to his forgiveness. And just let him in. Let him love you. You know, in um, the Psalms, many times King David wrote, David wrote a lot of the Psalms, not all of them, but a lot of them. And he talks about the anguish of his soul. And he, he really writes out the times that he's had things coming against him. And sometimes in a natural sense where people have been out to get him. And other times just where he himself had sinned and um, really messed up, you know. But he knew to turn to God and he knew God's loving kindness. I believe that's why it's said of David that he was a man after God's own heart, because he truly knew the heart of God. And we see that in Psalm 37. And um, I'm going to read, start reading at verse um, 5, and going to read 5 and 6 probably. But it says, But you, O Lord, your mercy seat love is limitless, reaching higher than the highest heavens. Your great faithfulness is infinite, stretching over the whole earth. Your righteousness is unmovable, just like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are as full of wisdom as the oceans are full of water. Your tender care and kindness leave no one forsaken, not a man, nor even a mouse. Wow. Notice that. He doesn't forsake anyone. His righteousness will find you right where you're at. If only you'll let him in. Amen. Pastor Nate, say until next time, be blessed.